My dentist creep the pasta. Back when I was 15, I used to have this mean dentist. I had braces, which meant I looked like the typical nerd. I really hated having those stupid braces. Sometimes, when the dentist would readjust them, my gums would hurt a lot. I started to complain about this to my parents, but they just gave me painkillers. So, one day when I had an appointment with my dentist, I would explain him the pain I felt. Occasionally, some of my braces would break, and my dentist was not so happy about that. I broke them because I would chew on plastic pens when I was nervous. Once my mom told me it was time for my appointment, I was scared. Scared that the dentist would notice my broken braces. I entered the car and we drove off. Once arrived, we sat down in the waiting room. I hated the sterile look of this place, it didn't feel right. I had brought my phone so I could entertain myself while waiting. I was playing hill climb racing when the dentist called my name. I turned off my phone and followed him into his room. The room had the same sterile look as in the waiting room. I felt uncomfortable. He asked me to sit down on the operation chair, so I did. I started to shake from fear when I saw all the pointy tools laying on display. He then asked me if I hadn't broken any brackets, and I said no I knew that I should have just told him the truth. He eventually found out that one of my brackets were broken, and he seemed mad about it. Well, looks like I'll have to rip your tooth out buddy he said in a friendly voice. I started to panic and tried to stand up from the chair. I couldn't I was stuck here. He then proceeded to stick metal objects in my mouth. He was trying to get my tooth out with all his might. I was in so much pain during this since he forgot to put anesthetics in my gums. Once the procedure was over, he held out a mirror so I could see what he had done. I was shocked at what I saw. My gums were all red with blood dripping from them and my tooth was missing. I quickly got out of his room to tell my mother about what the man had just done to me. She gave him the money and we were off our way. On the drive home, I told my mom how much pain I was in, but she shrugged it off. This dentist was supposed to make my teeth better, not worse, I thought to myself. Once I arrived home, I rushed upstairs to the bathroom to find the painkillers. They helped a lot, but when I looked at the site where my missing tooth was, I saw a metal spike in it. What the heck I thought to myself in confusion. I touched it with my thumb and the worst pain flowed through my body, as I did. This is why I am writing this, to warn you guys to leave.